family. I thought it was really inspiring. I love the fact that everybody is just united. There's such a diverse amount of people. I work in a school in a, in a huge estate that is hit with every social injustice you could think of. I will take some of this back into my meetings um, to discuss about the fact that what's wrong with having a social justice agenda and we should have one. For you, why is social justice so important in today's world? I think for me it's because it serves as a consciousness of the human spirit because I think there's lots of bad things that happen all the time and I think if you have this constant belief that you can do something to help make the world just that little bit better, not for a thousand people, but maybe just the people immediately around you, that will hopefully have like a ripple effect. Was there anything in any of the speeches or the performances that really struck a chord with you? When the Sheikh talked about the need for leadership, the idea that, that it is now almost urgent that someone emerges on the, uh, on the political stage who can actually recognise the importance of, of selflessness and, 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 and decency and of course bringing the legacy of Hussein into that made for a very, very powerful moment. You know, the Muslim community unfortunately do have a bit of a bad press at times but I honestly don't think I've been anywhere where people have been so friendly and so welcoming. I also grew up in South Africa and so when you go to the National Museum that's dedicated to Nelson Mandela there's actually quite a strong quote of uh, Hussein's up on the wall which it says Be, there is light for those that choose to see it. For Nelson Mandela when you go to Robin Cook Island and you see his prison cell the only thing that he could have every time that kept him going on was the light that he could see in the small little window cell that looked out onto the island so he could remember that there was a world out there that he was striving for and I think in a lot of ways when you look at the journey that Hussein must have taken geographically speaking at that time again the only thing he could keep on looking at was that light so I think it's really actually quite strong. There are very few characters throughout history that embody all of these principles that we hold dear to us in such a manner as we're saying. And the reason as to why I will encourage even myself and people out there to get involved with Yusuf Sen is simply because the aim and the philosophy of this organization is to expose people to the universal message that Imam Hussein stood for. And I believe strongly if we can all get exposure to that message, most of our challenges into this world will be solved. To think he inspired people like Nelson Mandela and Gandhi makes me want to go away and research him a bit and find out more. Hussein to me is my neighbour and myself living together. Hussein to me is when you walk down the street and you smile at somebody that could have been having a good day or a bad day but just that smile it might make a difference to them. He is a man whose message and whose example has clearly travelled down 1400 years and resonates as loudly and as importantly today as it did when he, when he died. I think when we look around the world and even just in London here in this city, uh, things are not perfect. There are lots of injustices and I think Hussein stands out as somebody who is very principled and who didn't give up at the first uh, problem. For me, I think Hussein is a purveyor of hope, right? A purveyor of hope and someone who was selfless in his pursuit for a better life for people. That, that's who Hussein is for me. Hussein is a great example to us about fighting against adversity. It, his, he was about um, standing up for what you believe in, holding firm to those beliefs regardless to the consequences. We have to be very vocal about social justice and not afraid, like Hussein, to stand up.